Hi everyone! So, as you've probably gathered from the title of this video, um, it's not going to be a particularly happy topic. Um, I'm sorry about that. Please excuse this blanket that I'm wrapped in, by the way. It is pretty chilly here on the boat and I've left the heater off because it creates a lot of background noise, so this is just me trying to stay warm. Back to the topic of the video. Um, Jonathan and I have decided that we are going to part ways. In this video I'm going to explain why we've made that decision and what it means for us as individuals, um, for the boat and for the future of this channel. So in essence we are breaking up because we've realised that we want completely different things in life and those things are just not compatible. When we originally bought the boat, we were under the impression that we were both going into this for the same reason, but that has turned out not to be the case, um, which just goes to show that communicating with your partner is really, really important, especially before making a huge life decision like buying a boat. So the reason that I wanted to buy a boat was because I wanted to travel, I wanted to see the world, I wanted to have adventures, and I wanted to spend a lot of time in nature. Um, I thought that that was kind of similar to what Jonathan wanted, but it turns out for him it was more about having a kind of more eco-friendly method of transport, so being able to go to nice sunny destinations um, without having to get a plane. He had a dream of being able to sail to Canada so that he could go and see his family without all of the pollution involved in taking a plane over that distance. But for him, he wasn't actually that interested in sailing for its own sake and I think that's actually a very important distinction. There were some similarities in our motivations. We both wanted to kind of live a cheaper and a, a simpler way of life where we didn't have to work so much and we both quite liked the idea of having a project and that is still true for both of us, we both do still enjoy having projects but ultimately those things alone were not enough particularly once we started actually sailing and obviously we went into this without any sailing experience which again was, you know, a mistake on our part but Jonathan found out that he gets really seasick and that has made it pretty much impossible for him to enjoy the experience of sailing. Um, we did have some limited success with medications, um, it, it helped for a while but the medications tended to wear off even if he took sort of a booster dose and then he'd feel pretty horrible again so yeah that has made things very difficult. On the other hand, I discovered that I really love sailing and I really love boats and I do want to continue to have boats in my life in some shape or form. So we then had this division between us basically where I wanted to continue with this lifestyle but he didn't want to do that anymore. Um, he also began to struggle with things like living in a cramped space and the bed wasn't quite big enough for him which caused some back pain. Um, he began to get pretty tired of the amount of maintenance required to keep the boat up and running. And obviously we had a huge number of stresses as well, like when we discovered that our engine was dead and we had to figure out how to replace it and go electric. So ultimately because we didn't want the same things anymore, it created a huge amount of tension in our relationship and we started to have a lot of arguments um, and we just generally weren't getting along very well and this obviously became very stressful, it was not not a pleasant atmosphere for either of us and um, we discovered that we really can't cohabit in a space this small, we both really need our personal space and we just weren't able to get that. So initially we did try to see if we could find some compromise, find a way that we could both pursue what we wanted and both be happy, but none of the compromises that we tried worked out. Um, whatever we did there was always somebody that was unhappy or more often both of us were unhappy. <laughs> 
and since we just want completely different things and we can't figure out anything that works for the both of us we feel that the only option at this point is for us to go our separate ways. I think some of you may have picked up on the fact that things were not quite right. Um, you've probably noticed that we really haven't been uploading videos very often and the main reason for that is that we have just been really struggling a lot um, and things have been very uncertain. We've been really unsure whether we would keep the boat, whether we would stay together and how things were going to pan out and so yeah that stress has made it difficult for us to to make videos or to even go out sailing. Um, I do want to clarify that even though we are going our separate ways we don't hate each other. <laughs> we are still on good terms and we are working together to do what needs to be done to move forward which I will talk about a bit more later on. So you might be wondering what the future is going to look like for us as two separate people rather than as a unit. Um, Jonathan has decided that he wants to go back to living kind of a more conventional lifestyle where he lives in, in a house or a flat in the city and he has a job and you know a group of friends and what he really wants right now is a stable location which we haven't really had for the past almost two years now. He's, he's looking for a job quite possibly in making video games which is something that he has worked in before. Um, it's looking like he might be moving to London. So for me, as I mentioned, I really love this lifestyle of living on a boat and I did toy with the idea of, of continuing to live on this boat. But um, after thinking about it, I've come to the conclusion that a boat of this size is really way too much for me as a single person especially given that I don't have very much sailing experience at all so I, I definitely wouldn't have the confidence to take the boat out so I would probably end up just sitting in the marina all the time which kind of defeats the point of having a boat and it's also kind of expensive to maintain and moor a boat of this size so yeah I've decided that unfortunately we are going to have to sell the boat and that makes me pretty sad after all of the work and the love and the dedication that we have put into this boat but we both agree that it is inevitable and it's the right thing to do um, so that we can both move on. So that initially left me feeling pretty lost. I was like well where do I go from here? Um, and I thought about immediately just buying a much smaller boat that would be more manageable and you know make more sense financially but Having thought about it, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I think before buying another boat it would make a lot of sense for me to properly learn how to sail and get some more experience because if there's one thing I've learned from this, it's that buying a boat with no experience is a silly idea and <laughs> you probably shouldn't do it. Some people seem to manage to make it work but for us I think it, it just ended up being way too stressful and a lot of that stress could have been avoided if we had taken some time to get some experience fast. So potentially I might do my day skipper, that's something that I've been kind of wanting to do for a while um, but I need to save up for it and I haven't had a lot of spare money recently because boats have a habit of eating money. But in the meantime I don't just want to be kind of sitting around and working on my laptop I tend to go a little bit stir crazy when that's all I have to do and I really need kind of more stimulation in my life than that um, and I need to have some kind of hands-on project to work on so after thinking for a while I think what I might do is to buy a, a really tiny van and kind of convert it into the world's smallest camper van and maybe have some adventures in, in that, probably not live in it full time but yeah just as a way of getting to travel because despite having had the boat for a long time because of lockdown and because of all the issues that we've had with the engine and seasickness and everything we have barely had any opportunity to actually travel in the boat and so yeah that side of me is still feeling a bit unfulfilled so I'm hoping that this project could help me to do that. Um, and yeah, just give me a little bit of breathing space to potentially get some more sailing experience in that time and eventually work my way to having another boat. 
In terms of the future of this channel, I've decided that I want to keep documenting my journey, whatever that might look like, um, my adventures, whether it's by van or by boat or whatever it happens to look like. So I will be keeping this channel going. I know for many of you it isn't exactly what you signed up for. You were probably kind of invested in us as a couple and in this particular boat and everything. And I understand if you don't want to follow this channel anymore, but I hope that some of you will stick with me because, yeah, I'm definitely going to be having some more adventures. I will, of course, be changing the channel name because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense anymore. Um, but I will make another video giving a heads up before I do that so that you don't end up really confused like wait a minute I didn't subscribe to this person so this is obviously a, a pretty sad time and I know I might not seem like I'm all that sad but that's just because I've known for a long time now that there's a good chance things were not gonna work out um, so I definitely went through my phases of sobbing and being devastated <laughs> and everything um, being in denial about the whole thing but I've processed a lot of that emotion now and kind of <laughs> moved through the denial phase of grieving and into the acceptance phase and I'm getting to the stage where I am beginning to feel excited about the future again after feeling a bit low for, for quite a long time. So once again I'm sorry to disappoint anyone who was really invested in, in this journey um, I hope that you can put up with <laughs> with just me instead of us as a couple and we will be making one more video where we do kind of a tour of the boat because it will be going up for sale um, so yeah we're just going to show what features the boat has to offer for anyone that might be interested um, but yeah we'll wait until it goes on the market before we do that and then there will be a link to the, the listing then in the description so keep a look out for that if you happen to be interested and um, finally I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who has followed us over the past almost two years um, we have really really appreciated all of your amazing supportive comments and we've we've learned a lot from from the comments that people have left on our videos and yeah it has just meant so much that so many people have wanted to follow this journey so a huge thank you and see you next time